Hello friends and welcome again to another One Punch Man video. In this video we'll be talking about this new week of Maelstrom and I will start it immediately because I don't want to lose progress because I want to hit the 200 uh, top players. Last week I couldn't do it, I was 100,000 points away. I did get the first place in, in, in my group which is not important, I did it before, it doesn't give you a lot of things. Actually it does give you something, I think it gives you also a name card, that's it, uh, a name card. I don't know which name card it is, I think it's this one, this one it's Atomic Samurai name card set, I don't know if it's this or something else, I think it will give you one name card, I mean maybe it was this or something else, yeah I think it, it's this, this is the achievement that you get from ranking 1 in your Maelstrom, so if you ranked 1 in your group, uh, this group in this ranking, so I didn't do anything, I was just testing, you're gonna get that. And to rank in the top 200, it will give you this name card. I still didn't have it, I didn't rank in top 100 on this account. On, on my pay to win account, I did it twice. It was easy because I had Terrible Tornado, it helps a lot actually. Let's go and check it out. So you probably you're gonna have 3 points uh, to use. Use it in attack, use it in damage, it doesn't matter where you use it. It's uh, a little bit of points, so it will not affect you that much. Food affects your progress, so always use food so uh, let's reset everything so here what I was using is overpower characters are the one that deals the most of the damage so I picked overpower characters and I put somebody that I didn't invest in which is iron iron I didn't invest in so if you want to check how much points you can do this it's easy to clear with mustachio if you have mustachio as you see mustachio is not very well built for me but I can use him and I can do that I can use uh, Jobless Saitama, he's overpower, and Snake. Snake is amazing actually, and I used Iron, which is the least one that I can use here. So uh, let's give them all the buffs. So you give Composure, Composure is good. You give, uh, yeah, uh, whatever. And let's go and take some arms for attack. And we're gonna start. No food, I'm not using food. I will show you that later. I'm not using food. So uh, as. As it starts, I click one like this and I can use his skills to start and dealing so much damage. And we can go like this and finish it off and here we go. Another unit, we can go and march to it and use it. So Mustachio just deals a lot of damage and he's easy, fairly easy to use. We can use his third skill as well and then we can go and use the second skill. He deals a ton of damage with the second skill. His first skill will march towards the enemy and you will hit them and you will absolutely destroy the enemies. Again, we're gonna use the first skill and eliminate one. And the second skill, let's start like this and not get interrupted. Absolutely perfect. Yep, deals tons of damage. And third skill, delete somebody. And first skill, and he will hop in front of somebody. We can use the paralysis, we can use all the, uh, the buffs. Let's use it again. And here we go. You only need to kill 18 monsters, I think, here. And then let's go and use the second skill. I love the second skill, it deals tons of damage. And the third skill, you're gonna jump and deals also good damage. And the first skill will hop in front of them and deal damage. And we took two and third one. This one, bam, 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 bam. I love his second skill. His second skill is OP, actually. That was a lot of damage with the follow-up. And the third skill, here we go. And then the second skill for some damage like this, and that's it. There's a lot of other enemies, there's a lot of time, but you can clear it as like, as easy as this. Especially because we're playing overpower characters, and you're gonna get all of that, and the speed will increase. Now, for this second skill, uh, or second uh, boss, also I got it uh, from first try uh, all, and I was using Lightning Max. Why Lightning Max? Now Lightning Max deals a lot of damage with consecutive attacks, so you need somebody to do consecutive, uh, consecutive attacks and his third skill is absolutely crazy. It's amazing and we'll use switch like this and here you use no food and let's go and do that. The only thing you need to pay attention is to follow the enemy and here we go, we're following him and we can hit him, charge your skill and here we go, we let him go, we follow him and hit. Okay, now we can chill a little bit, let him go to the corner, and as soon as the shield is off, we can go and hit like that, and you can use his third skill, you see how much damage it does, you can spam it, 
and it will deal a lot of damage and then you can get the coins again follow him like that and hit and then charge my skill it will require a little bit of RNG just to hit him or to keep following him so I give him a space and I go follow him with the second skill and now I can hit him I can use the third skill now and as you see I'm dealing a lot of damage and I'm gathering all the coins that possible and charge my skill doesn't matter oh and we hit him and I put him in a corner that's the strategy that I want to do it's not the best one but so far we're doing good and here we hit him we use this third skill again deals a lot of damage consecutively so you can deal that and get as much coins as possible we still have 40 seconds I think with 40 seconds we can do it let me put him in the corner again and here we hit him go back go back come on come on come on come on come on that's it that's it I think this is it consecutive hits and that's it we got 180 coins that's how easy it is with lightning max you don't need to go and, and do follow-up attacks or use somebody else. You can use Lightning Max. Lightning Max is not technical. Because if we want to go and check uh, the, the main team that we're going to use, it's the team that is technical. So I'm not going to use Lily here because I wanted to use Lily. Now, if you have Terrible Tornado, that's absolutely amazing. If you have Samurai, uh, the new Samurai, he also is technical. So he you can use him here. He deals a lot of damage, especially if you have his arms. Now, if you don't have his arms, it's a little bit harder, but if you if you want, you can go and do that. So here I was using Puri Puri. I think I should use somebody else to deal damage here. Maybe I can use somebody else. Let's, let's go and try Puri Puri again, okay? Puri Puri, no food. Actually, we can use uh, a buff for food with the attack and that's it. Okay, here we go. Puri Puri is okay because he dodges a lot, so we can do this and dodge and dodge again. Damn, that's a lot of damage. So you need to fill this bar that you see here around you. Uh, it's at 58, 67. I'm not using his ultimate yet until I accumulate the damages. And here we go. Now we can go ham because it will deal even more damage when we do that. Bam. Yep. You can defend as much as possible with his skills and even with his second skill when you run because even running can get, make you immune and invulnerable so we want to accumulate damage here until yeah i'm not gonna make it in three uh, minutes i don't think so okay 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 calm down buddy calm down let's do this again in three minutes yes we did it in three minutes that's what you need to do. Wait for this one in the top left to get uh, all the power that you need and just hammer him down with your third skill. And that's three minutes under 60 seconds with Annihilation. We did it actually with Puri Puri and that's our third point. Perfect, perfect. Allies get 40% in Annihilation bat Battle. This is the buff that you want to get. Okay, the third one, which is a little bit harder because you need a lot of healings, I think, here. Let's use you. Use you. Okay, I'll use everybody that has heals, probably. Uh, or, or, yeah, you can, you can use the healing one. You don't have heal. Let's reset paralysis with you, which is good. And the third one will be Smile. Smile actually does a lot of damage, plus his arms allow him to heal. Yep, and we're gonna use a food buff so we can get this. Hopefully we can get it. If not, I'll try later. Probably with accumulating points in attack or damage, we can do this. So, here we go. We use the first skill. Let me hit you with this. And here we go. He's stunning everybody else. And not me. No, not me. Okay. Everybody use their heals because he's dealing a lot of damage. It's insane. Okay, I just want to accumulate some points with Zombie Man. And we can do this. Okay, you, you sir, is toxic. Look how he stunned me. Which is fine. Okay, here we go. And we switch on. 
Okay. Nope. Optimal distance is all the things you want to do here. Let's switch back and heal some more. Nope. Okay, healing more. And I'm an axe, and here we go. And it's not the best, it's not less than three sec three minutes. But it's okay, we can do it later. As you see, he's an annoying boss. Plus, oh, we did it, we did it. Under 90 seconds, not that. Okay, so you can do it in two and a half minutes. That's it, that's it. So this is all the runs. These are the bot the units that I used, and we did it. We actually did it. So you see the arms that are healing kept my team alive. Basically, I wipe with the team this much, and I keep my main unit, so my main unit keep attacking. Zombie man was doing good, actually. So we did that. We are all in all, everything is lit. So now you can go and use your units to uh, attack and use uh, my best characters. So my best characters are these top four, as you see here. Now, the thing is about this level that uh, Hellish Blizzard, I can use her in somewhere else. I can use... Uh, her so one is important two is important now play him as main silver fang in this one if you have no terrible tornado if you have terrible tornado you don't need to play silver fang as main because if you play ai terrible tornado she will deal less damage than him i had the comment that silver fang deals a lot of damage play him he's the one he's the best here for me yes for me specifically me because i don't have terrible tornado or samurai if you have samurai or terrible tornado Play them as manual. The AI for Silver Fang is absolutely crazy. He does better than Samurai and he does better than Terrible Tornado as an AI. But if you don't have them and you want to play him as main, he's the one to play. Now I have him at lower power, so playing my Genus as uh, the biggest powerhouse that I have will bring me more scores. As you see, it's weak versus technical. So this is what you need to do. So I'm gonna go and use my Genus and there I'm gonna use Silver Fang. I'm gonna use my uh, Metal Knight, of course, Metal Knight deals a lot of damage, even if I have Hellish better than him, Silver, uh, uh, Metal Knight will deal uh, the amount of damage that I want. Here, Hellish uh, Blizzard deals a lot of damage, actually, and she's good. But with this run, because it's technical, you'll see that uh, uh, Triple Staff Lily will deal even more damage. So this is why I pick her here, and I go and deal uh, as much damage as possible. Of course, give your food buff, give your defense buff so you have everything stacked up. Now you can use the purples, but don't do it now. Do it later when you max the whole power tree that you have. So let's go. We start with Triple Staff Lily and we get everybody else. We hit him, we dodge, we hit him again. And here we go. We can hit him like this. Even if he hits us, it doesn't matter because we don't take that much damage if we are doing our second skill. And here we go, dodging a little bit and going behind him. I hate Fish of Darkness, He's uh, uh, he walks a lot. And now we can go uh, range and use our skill. You see how he dodges every all, all the attacks because he moves a lot. Yeah, use the football, I don't care. Uh, okay, okay, stop, stop, stop. Don't go ham on to me. This is the first boss, as you see, with no power up in the tree. It doesn't yield us so much damage. And we've done it. Okay, so the second boss, Vaccine Man, which is uh, insanely sad because I hate Vaccine Man because he deals a lot of paralysis and he mo moves a lot. So this is why I use my ultimate. I always tell you don't use your ultimate now. One more bar and you're over. So, oh come on. One more bar, we said. Here we go. He's done. Of course, also a waste of time skill because he's gonna mark me with his red shenanigans. But it's fine, we're dealing damage. And if he does that, we're okay because dodging this is easy. And here we go. If you're using your second skill, it doesn't matter if he hits you because it's okay. And we can dodge with the first skill. And he's gonna be moving here. And here we go. Yeah, keep moving, Parler, keep moving. Great, I love this boss actually, he's not that hard, he's easy. Vaccine Man is the one that I don't like. 
and behind you and behind you again and then I get to hit you and that's it now who's it is it the mosquito yeah mosquito my arch nemesis wasting a lot of my time because she jumps and she goes back and forth here we go okay that is going actually well it's not that bad okay come can you calm down just come down come down okay In two seconds she took the full blast and some other attacks and that's it we should do okay on the ranking not that bad not that good because we got all the golden ones and we defeated three monsters on the first day the first one which is okay i guess we should be relatively good half a million which is okay 671,000, which is not bad actually we got two of the rewards the third reward is always harder because you need to hit 1.2 million which is okay uh that put yeah I'm, I'm ranking first here it's not the biggest achievement the achievement is to rank here in the top actually in the top 200 and uh i wish you all the best luck and uh, yeah that was it for the video if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you didn't i thank you for watching and as always stay frosty peace